about Dragon Ball Super 113. This episode was kind of short, but it still had its moments. It had some good stuff. And, um, it had some good stuff. Like, we saw, like, more development with Kalifla and Kale. And then Kalifla fought Goku. She was holding her own against Goku. Even though Goku was still weak. I mean, I'm not making excuses for Goku, but... He just got off his fight with Jiren and hasn't recovered his stamina yet. But Goku matched her blow for blow in his, in his Super Saiyan 2 transformation. And Kremlin was surprised. He's like, so this is a fight between two Super Saiyan 2s. It's intense. Even Whis was getting into it. Said Goku brings out the best. It's not always about the brawler. Karate's not always about brawling. It's about thinking your way through and stuff. And fighting fighting smart and sometimes that's what Goku does and sometimes he don't but she, Goku's bringing out more more and ca uh excuse me into Kalifla herself which is a good thing cuz the fans didn't like her how she got her transformation the tingly back stuff but I didn't like it either, but like I said, different different races, different sands, they're in a different universe, they didn't have a tyrant, they changed differently, but they still had the same transformation, they just got it a different way. Maybe this could calm the fandom down a little bit about, like, about how she's going to get her transformation and learn how to use them. A lot of people are thinking she's getting her transformations too quick, and... I kind of agree with that, but no, at the same time, I mean, she's the first female that we know of that is actually, actually, there's two females that we know of to actually turn Super Saiyan, and that is Kale and Caulifla herself, which is basically a good thing for Super, and they made the first female Super Saiyan, that's like a lot of steps in their character, because even... Even the creator of Dragon Ball, Akira Toriyama, said, I don't know how to draw a female Super Saiyan. He stated this in an interview, which could kind of mess things up. And I guess it's just different how people get their transformations. Kind of like, I think maybe a lot of people were happy since Frieza trained. He got a new transformation because we never seen that from the Frieza race. But... And... A lot of people are probably mad about, like, okay, so Frieza got this by training. That's kind of a lot of BS bullshit. But I think this episode was over well done. I give it probably about a 7. I mean, because it wasn't all that action-packed. I mean, we got a few fights here and there. Then it cut off when Kale went berserker. I can't wait to see what she does next next time with the berserker and stuff. That's really amazing. Um... But I can see why she wants the Super Saiyan 3 transformation. She just doesn't want it for her own selfish reasons. She wants to protect her universe. And step up for her universe. Just like Kaba. But I'm going to do a video coming up here soon. About. About. The, who should get the Super Saiyan 3 transformation. And I did a little bit of a shout out video. For me hitting 300 subs and say what I had to say, but I'll make a normal video in case you guys missed it. That would be up to after this one or tomorrow. Because I'm trying to work on my videos. I s still had to make this one. I got like three, but I just wanted to say thank you guys again for 300 subs. It it's work. You guys are amazing. And I'm going to keep on the grind and take you all with the journey with me and see where it goes. Thank you very much and have a good have a good one.